Hello, this time greetings from the Canary Islands. I'm on the island of La Gomera. It's a wild island with very beautiful vegetation. And um, I also spent some time in Tenerife. And uh, as a forager, I was looking for wild food. Uh, Canary Islands are very hot, so actually there are not so uh, hot and quite dry, so there are not so many weeds you can find on the roadside. Even in the Mediterranean in winter, you find a lot of juicy, nice vegetables. Here, actually, is much more difficult, and there are some islands and some parts of the islands which are um, wetter, and actually you can find much more food there. So, in the north of um, Tenerife. I found a lot of weeds. Actually, they were already flowering and it was a bit too late. It's February. I suppose if you come in December or January, you have a better chance of finding uh, edible weeds. I also found a lot of um, Opuntia uh, fruits. Um, Opuntia ficus indica and Opuntia dileni. These two cacti grow abundantly in Tenerife. You can also find some Opuntias uh, here on La Gomera and they are traditionally used to make jam from the fruits here. Uh, of course you have to know how to peel them because they are quite prickly. So prick, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the, prickly, the prickly fruits can be processed. I heard from someone here that they first turned them around on the, on the lava gravel and then they wash them. Of course you have to wear a special glove to collect it, not to get hurt. I try to peel them with, with, with my um, with a knife and bare hands and actually got a lot of needles stuck into my hands and then even had needles on my mouth. And here and there I find fruits, uh, I find weeds and they are usually, the, the, the wild greens, and they are usually in places like some dark crevices, places near streams, uh, shady sides of buildings. And I was very lucky yesterday, I was driving around La Gomera and found a lot of edible plants which I'm going to show you now. Uh, so this is what I found yesterday. I found uh, a lot of nasturtiums and some um, violets flowering. So it's really amazing you can have nasturtiums and violets at the same time. Also common chickweed. Um, I also found a bladder campion, silini. And found this uh, interesting weed, it's um, patellifolia, it's related to beet and to goosefoot, it tastes very similar. I also found uh, a lot of sow thistle, uh, and I found solanum nigrum, nightshade, which is edible after cooking and discarding water. And I found this um, species of um, tropical oxalis, Oxalis pes capre, with yellow flowers. It's, it's called um, sourgrass. It's an invasive plant from South Africa, but very common in tropics and subtropics. I also found a wild uh, rocket, and I found um, a lot of mallow. A bit hard, but if, if I cut them properly, I can also use them for a vegetable. And I also found uh, some trees of Bauhinia. Bauhinia variegata is usually purple, but the tree I found had white flowers and uh, its um, petals are edible and used as food in many countries of South Asia. So it was very successful and um, some of these plants can be eaten raw, like uh, nasturtiums or like... Um, um, uh, like the sour grass and some may be better when they are cooked so I'm going to chop them and make some nice um, side dish with olive oil. So my first impression of Canary Islands was uh, something quite dry and devoid of wild vegetables but actually at a closer look when you know where to look you can find an amazing variety of wild vegetables including flowers and including both species which are very typical for temperate zones as well as the tropics. And I forgot about the third plate. Two very common plants everywhere in the world, also in the tropics, uh, also in the, in the temperate zone. Purslane and amaranth.
both perfectly edible. Greetings from Lagomera. <laughs>